here FX coming at you on this Thursday 23 May heading into the European elections 700 seats are up for grabs uh, plus or minus a few seats um, this weekend depending on how you count these UK seats uh, this should uh, impact the euro uh, so our focus in the next couple of days are going to be on Euro, Euro crosses. The prognosis is negative, right? <laughs> Over a third of these seats look like uh, they're going to be won by sort of radical um, populist type anti-conventional uh, political oper operators. So this this would be negative for the euro at the minimum it's just going to cause a lot of infighting and nothing's going to get done um, uh, and then the bigger picture if there is this true anti-euro sentiment obviously um, that sucks for the euro and you know there is some concern that the UK and Brexit has awakened sort of the animal spirits of um, you know the Italians and some of the French and basically all of the euro skeptics out there who live on the continent so let's um let's face this head on and see how this so see how this is going to look today is also very eurocentric on the releases we've got uh, final gdp out of germany then we've got all the services pmis from france manufacturing and services PMIs out of Germany um, and then we have monetary policy accounts from the ECB basically we got loads of uh, German data today Euro uh, IFO so um, gonna be a Eurocentric day how do we do this uh, looks like we should just be short euros just cut right to the chase here euro yen uh, euro dollar um, if you're feeling frisky and, and a bit risky you can be short euros going into these numbers uh, it's hard I'm hard pressed to to, uh, to expect anything decent out of Europe but if it is good euro is gonna pop higher uh, and if it is bad euro is gonna go lower so it's quite it's it's a bit touchy here on these releases um, so we're gonna wait and we'll trade the number as it's released if it is good we will fade strength in euro going into these elections um, but if it is bad we'll just pound it and with the expectation that uh, euro yen especially is gonna change tact here this big day here uh, from the 21st these lows are 122.70 uh, things really start to loosen up we think through 50 122.50 um, and on the flip side the risk on the top side is 123.75 so you got some broad parameters here you got to size your positions accordingly uh, but euro looks at risk this is the Euro Aussie chart. Um, even though we're short Aussie, this has come a long way. Uh, this could be a horse today if you're bullish Aussie. If you're wondering why Aussie hasn't gone lower uh, with stocks overnight, um, then you we would be right to wonder. It looks a little bit tired downside Aussie. Uh, so Euro Aussie could be a horse as well. One sixty one ninety is the last is the lows from the last couple of days 97 today 95 yesterday I mean two days ago it might be an opportunity to get short euros against the Aussie uh, let's look at euro sterling it's up through the 200 day as we all know um, series of green days that everyone knows uh, the, the boys at HSBC put out a piece yesterday uh, about what were the maximum number of consecutive 
up days or down days or whatever. Um, this is more of a Brexit trade, but this does look like it's going to get tired eventually. I don't know. We're leaving Euro Sterling alone. I'm just wanted to point it out. I had a lot of updates here. If you want to get short euros, uh, why you why you would want to trade Euro Sterling is a whole other story. Um, it's Euro Yen. It's already come off a little bit here. Um, and then of course Euro Dollar range lows 111.10. Um, and it just has a feel, this this parliamentary election has a feel like this is going to be actually even worse than people expect. Um, and if it is, there'll be a massive gap open on Sunday night. So for those of you who need to hedge euros uh, to the downside, I would be extra careful. Um, start deeply thinking about what the heck's going on here mainly because if this proceeds to be kind of a normal election the bounce in euro is going to be much less um, than if this is hysterically bad and populist so there is more downside risk than upside um, so let's keep this all in mind let's go to stocks mid-range still um, you know, the, the bad news is piling up here. Uh, yesterday we talked about it at the end of the day. Um, the bad news piling up. It just seems like a whole lot of negativity on a, from a whole lot of corners. Of course, short is still the way. You can't really add until you get, get up to 75 to 95. Next time down through 30, we will not uh, be trading this. Uh, we will just sit core and maybe even add. Uh, it looks like this thing is tipping, and obviously if this Euro election goes tits up, uh, this will affect the global economy as well. That's all the global economy needs is um, some sort of tomfoolery in Europe. BTPs are squeezing we do like core short here. We certainly don't think this is going to get above uh, 131. Uh, core short BTPs is another way of just expressing displeasure in Euro and worries about the upcoming election. Aussie, we talked about it. Uh, this could just dribble lower. We bought some and we sold some. Um, as we talked about yesterday, felt like a huge accomplishment to make an extra 10 pips uh, just range trading this at the bottom here this is how pathetic um, volatility is there's no reason to get bullish here these bars are are not bullish at all they're just basically nothing bars it looks to me that 66 uh, which is now a triple bottom is the next key point uh, if you are bullish you have the opportunity now to buy 75s and leave a 65 stop. Um, and if you're bearish, uh, I think you can you can add through 66. So we're playing around here in sort of this 60, 90 region. Triple bottom now in 66. Pick your poison. You want to be long, you could make the argument here, triple bottom, you know where your stop needs to be. You want to be short. Um, you just add through 66 if and when these stops below get done. What else? Dollar yen. Looks like it's turned. We talked about it. We sold 53s. Um, slow. Useless. Um, the real resistance is up here at 111, the figure, but this thing looks like it's turned. Uh, casually short dollar yen makes a lot of sense to us. Dollar CAD got this one wrong yesterday. Core short took some back. Uh, 65 resold 95. Um, but then we had to cut. I don't understand dollar CAD. It's just pissing me off. 
Uh, I think dollar cat is going to go lower, even though, you know, dollar cat is like a 90% correlation with euro dollar. So if euro dollar gets smacked, there's no way dollar cat is going to go lower. Uh, oil is also a bit lower. So I would encourage you to think deeply about why you're short dollar cat if you're still short. On the macro story, it looks correct. Uh, but on the micro price action story, it's just mid-range now. It's probably just going to flop around 2070 today. Um, do you really need this in your portfolio over the next three days? I would argue probably not now. Uh, as far as the U.S. is concerned, we do have manufacturing uh, and services PMI today. We have new home sales, uh, trade balance out of uh, New Zealand tonight. But uh, all focus today is will be Eurocentric, either with the BTPs, uh, selling high ones, or Euro will be trading around the data. I wish you all luck and much profits. See you tomorrow.